Hey guys, what's up? So, I thought I'd show you my uh, ITX uh, firewall build. I did a, another video uh, doing a proof of concept on the actual uh, <coughs> using the internal antenna as a Wi Fi access point. And I did get that to work, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually build this thing with the right ITX case. Um, I have a uh, power supply and uh, external power brick. And I also have like an external antenna, and I'll show you that. But let me show you what I'm replacing real fast. Um, I'm actually replacing that. So that is a Cisco 48 port PoE switch gigabit. And then I have a Cisco ASA 5505. And then I have a cable bottom right there. Then and an access point. Um, I actually do have a VPN tunnels. IPsec tunnels going between here and my data center or my uh, domain controllers, web servers, I think I I did other videos on, on the data center, so you saw my where my servers were at. So but one of the problems with the ASA um, is that it's only uh, hundred megabit interfaces on there, so I can't go past hundred megabits. And my internet connection should be anywhere from between hundred and three hundred megabits. So I'm bottlenecking my internet connection, so I need to either buy a faster ASA or um, build a firewall. And I actually like the uh, Sophos UTM firewall, so that's what I'll be building, and we'll be back. So, all right. So this is the RG uh, case I uh, did a video on, and this is going to be the firewall. So I'm going to be loading uh, Sophos UTM via my front USB in the front, and I also want to show you this pretty cool thing I got. Twelve bucks. So originally this motherboard came with uh, this little wireless thing right here. A little thing to put up there, but because I had this, gonna kind of, have this in that network rack above there. I'll show you what I do here. It's gonna be a like an external extension. Oh, the extra uh, SMA cables, but this is gonna go on top of my rack, and I'll show you that when I get in there. Do like your antenna, but it's actually magnetic too. And that's aluminum, so I'm not gonna stick to that. But you know, it should be magnetic. Yeah, see that? And you can also put it on a wall if you wanted to. This is like uh, 13, 14 bucks, but that will be on the top of my rack, so I don't want to get any sort of obstruction inside the, the rack. So that's why I don't actually have just like little antennas sticking at the back here, SMA antennas. So that will be for the uh, AP, so the clients will connect to these actual antennas right here. And uh, this thing actually is a, it's not wireless AC, it's um, I actually had to convert the card to an Atheros card, but I never, I never, never did it on that. But like, originally this thing came with an Intel card, Intel wireless card. But Intel wireless cards, uh, they can only go in client mode, they can't go in AP mode. So if you want to have the, your computer work as an access point, then you need to convert to an Atheros chip. But, uh, okay, I'm going to get the uh, OS installed, and uh, once I'm done, we'll do a speed test, and I'll do like a wireless test. Alright. Alright, just go through the instructions. It's pretty basic. Alright, there it is. So it's been going for about a day, and um, so far so good. I'm at about average, about 2% usage, CPU usage, and... That's the antenna up there, and right now I'm currently running 5 gigahertz. But, uh, yeah. I'll do another speed test, but, uh, um, definitely way faster. It feels way faster, so, um, yeah, there you go. ITX firewall, there you go. Alright. Alright, so one of the, uh, reasons for doing this upgrade is to do a speed test. I'll show you this with my Cisco ASA. And it's gonna do its thing. So, like I said, those are 100 megabit interfaces, so, you know, at least the ASA can handle that, but uh, I think the default, I should be getting over 100, or th they said anywhere from like a 200 to 300 megas, so, um, alright, so we'll see, uh, do a before and after with the new firewall. Alright, here we are, let's do a speed test here. Alright, do a start.
start test here. So before I was getting about 90 megabits, and I was kind of maxing out those uh, those 100 megabit uh, cards, the NICs on the uh, ASA. But as you can see, it's a lot faster. Um, this does actually fluctuate between about 220 around there and 23, 320. So it's Sunday, so there might be a little bit more traffic, home traffic. But uh, all right, pretty cool. Not bad. All right, awesome. Thank <laughs> you.